in rhombus T-I-G-E, diagonals T-G and T and I-E intersect at R. The perimeter of T-I-G-E is 68 and T-G is equal to 16. So let's label that. So the perimeter of TIG is 68 and TG is 16. So TG is 16. So because this is a rhombus, there are a couple of things that we need to, uh, there are properties that we should be aware of. So rhombus is actually a parallelogram, so all opposite sides are going to be congruent. And not only that, a rhombus is a parallelogram where all the sides are congruent. So if the perimeter of the, of the rhombus is 68, and there are four sides to any given rhombus, then each side is going to measure the perimeter divided by four. And what is that going to be? That's going to be 17 then. So each of the side lengths here are going to be 17 a piece. Something else that's true about, the, um, about a rhombus, the diagonals, uh, the diagonals will not only be bisecting one another, because that's true for a parallelogram, all parallelograms of diagonals will bisect each other or they will share a common midpoint. But something else is true, the diagonals of a rhombus, they are going to be perpendicular in addition to them bisecting each other. The diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. So if TG measures 16, then TR will measure 8 and RG will measure 8. So now the question is asking for what is the length of diagonal TE, of IE? So uh, because these diagonals are intersecting at right angles, they're perpendicular bisectors of one another, what we end up with is a four congruent right triangles. So I have a height of 8 and a hypotenuse of 17. And what I need to do is I need to figure out what is RE, because if I know what RE is, I can then I will then know what RI is, and then in return I will know what the whole length of the diagonal is. So to figure this out, the um, the da uh, the the leg that's unknown here, I'm going to call that x. So I have x squared plus 8 squared is equal to 17 squared. This is actually a triplet, and if you don't recognize it, that's okay. We're just going to enter this into the calculator. So we have uh, 17 squared, that is 289. So x squared plus 64 is equal to 289. And we're going to subtract both sides by 64. x squared is equal to 225. And if I take the square root of both sides, x will equal to 15. So 15 okay, is half of the diagonal. So don't be fooled by that. There is an answer choice there that, that says 15. We're looking for IE. IE is equal to 2 times RE. So therefore, this is going to be 30. So that's answer choice 2.